I think. Right. Hi, welcome to the first Grow Taller webinar. I don't know if anyone can hear me or see me yet. Let's go to chat, see what people can see in here. So let me know if you can see me, if you can hear me just before we start. And I might be able to go through a few functions with everybody. And then we can get started. So, right. Alex Daho, can you see me? Let me type it. Can you see me? <laughs> nice, 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 nice. So I'm assuming that everybody else can. That's good. Yasmin says not yet. Okay, it might just be a bit of a internet problem, maybe. Okay. So, I think it's been quite confusing today because the clocks have gone back an hour, so it's actually, we've lost an hour today basically. And I think that's going to confuse a lot of people. I didn't even realise when I set up the webinar that the clocks went back today. But hey, we're here now, ready to rock. So, does anyone, can everyone hear me now? Can everyone see me? Yeah, Yasmin, can you see me yet? Are you still six feet two? I hope so. <laughs> yes. Do you know what? I am going to do a video on my height soon. I am. I am. <laughs> I will do one. To prove it. To prove it. Definitely six foot two morning height. Anyway, definitely six foot two morning height. Might be a slight decrease at night. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> but I have been training a lot. So the stretching should be helping as well. Good, 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 good. I still don't know if everyone can see me. Can... Ah, nice. Matt. How do you harden the cartilage when you gain it? Hmm, good question. I think you mean in the spine, precisely. Can you actually see me though, Matt? Can you see me? Yasmin can see me, that is good. Sweet, 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 sweet. <clears throat> okay. It says we've got eight attendees, but only three viewers. So we've got Matt, Yasmin, Alex, so far. Let's just wait for everybody else to turn up, uh, if that's okay with you guys. I'll try and answer some questions though while, while we're waiting. So, as far as cartilage between the spine, you want to know how it's gonna, how it hardens. From what, from what I've done, from what it, it sort of, it grows. So like once you've, once you've stretched the spine, and then you've got that gap, your bones will grow like thicker so once they go thicker and then your spine compresses back again obviously it won't compress as far back as it did before so you'll you'll have thicker cartilage in between the spine if that's what you mean nino's in nino 
<laughs> Jonathan Nino wants to take the mic. That's fine. Let me try this out, Nino. Hold on. I'll try and bring you on stage. Uh, Jonathan Nino, let's see if we can get you live. Let's see what happens. I have added you. Don't know if it's worked. Oh, it's not working. Hold on, Nino. Hold on. Nino, have you got your camera on? <laughs> at least we're getting some people in the room right okay so uh right at the moment guys i'm just trying to get john on to this because there is an option that lets me speak to people individually uh and join in on this so just bear with me i know you've all got loads of questions there's loads of questions coming up up and down the chat here so just bear with me or i'll just pull john off this is quite important because i'm trying to if I want to speak to people on an individual basis, then I need to find out how to do this. So, add John. Uh, why isn't it working, John? Why? Right. It says I've added John. It says I've added you, Nino. Why is it not adding you? <laughs> Ugh. Let me try um, somebody else. Right. Do I have a volunteer? Well, someone says you are blocked. Uh. Hmm. Let me try adding you again, John. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Try again, John. See if see if you get the get the request now. Let me see if I can pull Jake. Jake wants to, to get on the mic, so let me see if I can pull Jake up. Jake, let me see if I can if I can pull you into this conversation. Hold on. Jake, 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 Jake Miller. Let's try. Hmm. Oh, wait. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Oh, he's here. Hi. It works. It works. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Am I the only one in this uh, this group chat? Or... No, 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 no. What it is, what it is, what it is, right? Because we had a hangout before and it was out of control, everyone was talking over everybody, I've got an option here where I can choose who talks at what time so i can just take one question at a time if that makes sense yeah yeah i see about that uh i'm, I'm living in the u.s right now I live in yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah and i have a few things to say actually when i was uh when i was 
17, right? This was in 2013. I was, I weighed about 162 pounds and I was about six foot and a quarter. And right now is about 2016. And recently I went to the gym. This was at 1.24 p.m. The guy told me I'm 190 centimeters, six foot two. So what are the chances of me being six three? Well, what do you think? <laughs> Judging from that. <laughs> well, well here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, Lance, I, I actually did one of your videos that you uh, – I remember seeing Harry and James' videos from the beginning. And uh, it, it inspired me, you know. I, I did one of your videos. I think it was weeks, you know, you were doing Tony Jacks and uh, uh, that. I did that. And uh, I think that kind of enhanced it a little bit. I'm not too sure, but, you know, I pulled change my life, so. Cool, man. So how, how old are you now? 20. 20, okay. And what, so what period of, of time did you go from six foot uh, and a little bit to six foot two? I think I think uh, I, I started seeing a drastic change after like three months after starting. Like uh, I, I started seeing a little bit of change. What happened was that my diet was very bad. It was very bad. So I try to correct it the best way that I can. Stop. Stop. I try to correct it the best way that I can. You know, my my posture from hunching, from sitting, walking straight, uh, sleeping on time, uh, correct dieting. You know, eating a lot of calcium, protein, stuff like that. Um, but I do have a question. This is a little. I just ordered the, the stat meter that you and Rob Paul have. Yeah. And I want to know how accurate, I want to know how accurate a measuring tape and a stat meter really is. Are I would the say, same thing? I'd say the stat meter is going to be like the pinnacle. You know, that's, that is, a, it's a medical piece of equipment and they're not cheap either. They're not cheap at all. I've kind of, I've, uh, done, a, I've done a test before between the laser one in the in the gym that I used to go to, they had a, a laser one which would sort of beam a, a laser down to your height, yeah, sorry, the top of your head, which it wasn't necessarily always accurate because if you've got really thick hair, it would yeah. it would hit the top of the hair, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, whereas with the stadium meter, you know, it pushes down, you know, right to the very uh, the very top of the head. So as, right, right. as far as I know that with you know skin tight flash. I know that he says there's a there's definitely a a bit of a plus and a minus on it. You know, to a certain degree, it's not ninety nine point nine percent accurate. But you know, I think that the thing is is like um, the, the the difference that it's going to make for for what people are going to see. They're not even going to know. You know, so let's say it is zero point zero two difference. As far as people looking at you and saying, right, I'm sorry, you don't look six foot two. You just don't. You look six one point one nine nine nine. You know, no one's ever going to say that, right? You know. But I think, I think from a standpoint of 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 training and seeing results, sometimes that can be important because obviously you want to know if you are making gains, and even the smallest amount can can also add that up. So I do understand. I do understand. No, no, thank you. I really appreciate you, you know, giving me this opportunity to chat with you. You know, I never thought I'd, I'd have this day to actually talk to the person who I, I've been following up on videos on. <laughs> on right? But I do, I do want to let you know that um, when you're saying that, when you're saying that everybody was like, no, you don't look, you know, 6'2", actually, people think I look more than that. Like, I live, I live in New York, so uh, everyone's like average. I think, the, I think it's 8% average. You know, so I sort of, and uh, I get that a lot. I get that people say, damn, you're tall. How tall are you? You know, it, it's, it's like, it's unbelievable when I tell them I'm 6'2". They're like, no, you got to be like four or three. You know, maybe it's a little bit of the hair, you know. Oh, yeah, because then that makes them feel short then. If you say to them, oh, no, I'm only 6'2", when they had in their own mind that they were close to 6'2", when you say, oh, yeah, I'm 6'2", then they're like, oh, no, well, I thought I was 6'2", and you're taller than me, so that means that I'm not. I must be 5'11", now, so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I do have a question though. Uh, let me see. Cause I, I don't want to take up too much of this time because I, I, I want to give a uh, half my other group. I right, see so you got that Jurassic park up. <laughs> it's nice. Um, <laughs> it's real big. It's huge. It's like as big as my head, man. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, I, I really don't like the idea of a measuring tape because my, the surfaces on my floors are just 
they're just atrocious. Like like some are lower, some are higher. So in different parts of my house, like if I go to the kitchen, I'm a little bit taller, more. If I go to the room, I'm a little bit less. If I go in the living room, I'm bang on, correct. You know, it's, it's, it's just a game. I don't like measuring tapes. I really don't. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I tried this thing where if I was to stand in the middle of the living room and uh, kind of like, like take the measuring tape uh, really close to my head, slide it down straight, and it always hang on 6'4". I don't understand that. I really don't understand that. But when I go to the gym, it's 190. It makes no sense. Yeah, that sounds a bit weird. <laughs> so what, so you, you, get the, you get the measuring tape in the middle of the room, and you measure yeah. yourself, but how, how, who's, who's holding the tape for you? Is it just you? Or? Well, well, here's the thing. Well, here's the thing. I know it sounds kind of like weird. It seems odd. It seems tedious. But you know how the measuring tape has like this clip where you switch it and it holds it. Like you don't have to like hold, like, okay, the top down, right? Obviously if you let it go, it's gonna like fly right back up. Yeah. So there's, yeah, there's like this clip and that's how I do it. I make sure it's touching the ground. I stand right close to it and I slide it straight. I, I make sure it's not up. I make sure it's not tilting up, tilting down, straight. Yeah. Comes out, bang on six four. And at night a little below it. It makes no sense. But you know, with the measuring tape itself, you know, uh, I haven't got one in the house, but um, there's like a certain amount that you have to take off, right? On some yeah. of them, not all of them, on some of them, because like the measuring tape itself could be, I don't know, an inch and a half thick. So sometimes the tape doesn't even start necessarily till the end of the, you know what I mean? It's... Yeah, right, right. Uh, but listen, man, you know, let me tell you something. I always tell my problem with one of the group members that, that I had and uh, he didn't believe what I said because my diet seemed a little bit weird. I try to, I try to like make him understand that what I did on my diet wasn't extraordinary. It's simple. You know, you eat healthy, you stay away from junk food right now. I'm not starting anything because I have work and I have a, uh, some serious things going on in my life. So at the moment I'm not starting anything. Although I did make the shin program that I want to do involving ankle weights a stationary bike and possibly, I don't know, a few methods for that. Um, but I do remember going crazy, man. In the beginning, when I was 17, I was six foot and a quarter. And, and I saw your videos. I saw Harry and James. And it's like, uh, they, they, they gave me motivation, man. You know, they kept growing and growing every single week. Yeah, they worked, made hard, me man. They worked hard. Yeah, and, and this is how I knew because throughout – throughout the years people would tell me are you getting taller you changed man you changed you know <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, a nice feeling, man. it's a nice feeling you know um and i'm, I'm, I'm really pleased because to be fair you've pr you've started with a pretty good height anyways you know like most people who who come to me uh, or my program are generally you know not six foot <laughs> you know like usually most people who who come to me are usually like you know five 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 six five seven um so yeah, it's you know it, I don't know, but in America, yeah, you know you do have you do have really tall guys over there, you know like people who play basketball and stuff. It well, yeah, yeah. It depends. It depends where in America, you know. Stop, stop, stop. It depends where in America, you know, because over here I live in New York. So if you come to New York, you're going to be towering everyone. There's no doubt about that. Over here, there's, there's a lot of average people. It's not like uh, Norway. I think it's called Switzerland. What was uh, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the average the average height is like six foot one. Yeah. <laughs> well, there. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. So you know, if if I may ask, uh, if it's if it's all right, uh, how, what's your current height, by the way? If if it's all right. <laughs> I think someone else wrote this as well. Um, Listen, I don't mean I don't want to be like uh, I'm not trying to offend or anything like that i'm just curious myself no 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 to be fair i haven't i haven't done it do you know what i haven't actually genuinely i haven't done a measurement um literally i've i've got the stadium meter still in the box from when from when i moved out and that, that isn't a lie i'm not gonna lie to you um it's literally Listen, I'm it's still again, it's still I'm here, it's still here all packed away it's it's ready to go but um no do you know what it's 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 one of the videos that i'm planning to do because uh i don't know if you we did a, a grow taller workout with my old friend Ash Cattell uh, a few years ago, and I got up 
to six three. I got an extra an extra inch on my six two. I was doing a hell of a lot of stretching. Um, exercise was perfect. Diet was perfect. I don't know if you follow like any of my other videos, but I tend to go a bit up and down with my diets. I'm a bit of a yo-yo dieter. You know, I will eat all the junk food for like six months and put on weight. You know, currently I'm trying to lose weight, and uh, I think it's definitely affecting my height. You know, I definitely think that I don't think I'm six three anymore. I do think from from bad habits, uh, especially like like now, even with even with this this seat that I'm sitting on, posture posture is going to be a big thing soon. Like it's going to be like if you don't think about your posture, you aren't even thinking about your health because posture is a really big thing. I don't think we've taken enough notice of posture. But um, to answer your question, yes, I will be doing another video on how tall I actually am. And I'm going to do a, a morning height and a, an evening height. Um, but I think I think, I think think morning height, I'm still going to be just over 6'2". But I do think evening height, it might drop to 6'1". And a bit, or it might just be on six two. I don't actually genuinely know, so we'll have to stay tuned. Let's find out. <laughs> Listen, hey, hey, I'm not. I know that we have some people in our group that are just really trying to know. I'm not. I'm not one of those people. I was just curious. I said, I'm not worried about that. But when yeah. you when you mention that that whole posture thing, I do want to mention that sleep is a very big one. Sleep. You, for, for this right now, sleep is a very big one. I haven't slept for two weeks. All right, my sleep has been like uh, uh, very, very funny. Like I would get like three hours of sleep because I go to my girlfriend's and uh, sometimes her father doesn't let me sleep there. So I, she lives in Queens. So from where I live, it takes like an hour and a half and I leave like at 12 o'clock at midnight. Yeah. So I arrive at 2 o'clock, 1.30 and uh, I feel very weak. Like I feel like right now, like uh, I'm still surprised that I, I'm still over six two, you know. I'm still surprised, yeah, yeah. but because I don't feel you're not getting enough sleep, you feel like um, you know, you're sort of you're not uh, recuperating, you know, like as you should be. Your body isn't able to to stay at that high because it's just you just drained and your posture's been terrible and overworked, yeah. you know, underslept. Yeah, I understand. I understand. Right. Right. Uh, all right, Lance. I want to wrap this up. Uh, I want to give someone else a chance, but I really yeah, appreciate thank you. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate that. It's, it's it's going to be quite hard. I mean, to be fair, I'm just trying to gauge like how long it's going to take to to kind. Of, we might even roll over on this. To be fair, we might even roll on for however long it takes because I do want to try and answer everyone's questions who's who's turned up today. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Um, wait, I got one more question though. Is there, is there any chance you know you know our group on Facebook? Is there any chance you could do a Google Hangout with us, like a private Google Hangout? Like uh, at some point, you know the group that we're in on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it the uh, which one is it now? Because I, I, I joined two, but then I've... <laughs> Facebook is is not really for me anymore. <laughs> I, get, I get I get in trouble with my girlfriend for getting on Facebook. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll come back into Facebook just to just to sort that out. But yeah, I'll 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 definitely do that. I'll do that for you guys. Yeah. That's All right. Thank you. I appreciate it. Bye. Uh, no worries. Thanks for your question, dude. I'll uh, stay, 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 uh, stay with us, man. I'll, I'll try and, um, I'll try and answer some more questions, and you might find something useful that we, we talk about. So, right, yeah. how can I get rid of you now? <laughs> <laughs> but wait, oh my, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Uh, this is not for me. This is actually from the group. Um, there's one thing that somebody's trying in a group. He's sleeping on the floor, and he wants to know. Well, we want to know because I tried it. If uh, does sleeping on the floor really give you permanent gains? Like, what, what's your thoughts on that? Sleeping on the floor. Who um who posted something about that? I think I it's weird you say that. I did I did read something just before I left that group. Well, did not left the group, but left Facebook. Someone mentioned. Did someone gain a lot of height by doing that or something? He was gaining like almost half an inch, um, and it's like it's been his third night. It's Tyler, you know Tyler. Oh yeah, 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 Tyler Thomas. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh shit! Yeah, that's what he was. Sorry, excuse my language. No, he sent me. He said he's um, he sent me the link to the to the article that he'd been he read up on. He said, "Oh, what do you think about this?" Uh, and I actually said I was going to read it, but <laughs> I've been that busy. I haven't actually read it now. But I'm sure he can if he if he's in the room now he can he can tell me all about it and we can we can go through that. So Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, um all right, Lance. I'm gonna go right now and it was nice talking with you, all right? Hey buddy. All right, thank you. Appreciate it.
Right. Right, right, guys. Right, 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 right. Um, so people have gathered that they can, they can raise their hand in this little... Let me just see if I can do a screen share so everyone can see how the hands are raised and how I can actually choose them. So we've got Alex has got her hand raised. Or is it, is it a guy? I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. It's, it's, Alex is a joint name. We've got Arash. We've got Yasmin. John Nino has got his hand raised, uh, and Matt has got his hand raised. Uh, okay, even uh, okay, right. Hold on. Okay, so let's just see what's going on in chat. Let's just see. Let's just see. Um, right. Let's let, let me try and get John back into the video because I have I haven't actually spoke to John properly over over this yet. So let's try and get John. See what happens. Right, John, I've just requested you. Let's see. Let's see. So I've requested it again, John. What does it say? <clears throat> Did you get the request, dude? Did you request? <laughs> Did you get the request? For some reason, it's not adding John, and I don't know why. I don't know why, John. I don't know why. Yasmin, why the sad face <laughs> or sad faces? Yasmin, if you would like to come on and ask your question, providing that we don't get John in the next sort of minute or so, then you feel free. I will try and connect with you. But I really do, I really do want to try and get John because I've been talking to John for a while and. It'd be a shame not to speak to him. Is your camera definitely on, John? And is everything is everything all? John, <laughs> what are you seeing? Hmm. I don't know why John is blocked. I don't know why. Sorry about this, guys. It went a bit technical difficulty here. I do not understand why. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, we'll go to settings. Cancel. Control room. Oh. <laughs> oh, John, why aren't I getting you, man? Why aren't I getting you on here? This is really frustrating me now. It's really, really frustrating me. <laughs> um... See, let me just see if I can do a screen share of what I'm seeing. So, right. Right, guys, this is what I can see, right? So, down this side here, I've got all my attendees. See, John, I haven't blocked you. It doesn't say, it doesn't say anything about me blocking you. So, I, I'm supposed to click this here by Nino. Add. And nothing's happening. Nothing is happening.
I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Oh wait, who's this? Oh, hey, Nino, nice. Hey, Lance, what's up, man? Oh man, so good to hear. I thought you didn't want to talk to me. I was <laughs> like, what the hell? I was, I was getting, to, oh. I was getting so frustrated because I was trying to, I was trying to add you, and then it was just, and then you were getting things saying that you wouldn't, you, I was blocking you when I, I really wasn't. I was just like trying to add you. Oh, okay, yeah, I was getting nervous. I'm like, man, maybe you just want to talk to me or something. I don't know. <laughs> How are you, buddy? Um, You're, right. You're right. Good. This is the first time talking to you, like, face-to-face. -face. Wow, man. Well, cam to cam, yeah. <laughs> cam to cam, yeah, yeah, whatever they call that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, man, I just, I've been at this since September. I first heard about your videos and, and stuff back in 2012. Um, yeah, that long ago? That's, uh, yeah. Long ago, but, yeah. I mean, I was in high school. I didn't really have the time to pursue, like, I mean, here and there, I would do, like, the stretches and stuff, but I could never really stick with it. Uh, but recently, like, once I graduated, you know, I, I wanted to, you know, basically to – I had the time to do it. So I started, you know, doing your stretches and stuff. Um, I didn't really notice, like, much. And then eventually, like, I bought – like, recently, I bought an inversion table. I've been doing that. Um, and, I, you know, I do that, like, every night. Like, I'll run to create I don't know if you ever heard of micro fractures like in the yeah. leg bone yeah 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 yeah, micro yeah. do you think that that would be effective like if you could create micro fractures then stretch them out yeah cuz weren't you doing a I'm sure I watched a video of yours where you were doing a shin regime or something like that I'm all right yes so, yes um that now? yeah uh, but instead of ankle weights, I use um, I use the inversion table because it stretches out your legs too. And yeah. then I'll get off the inversion table and then get into bed and then sleep. And I mean, I m my main routine is at night, but uh, I've only noticed about half inch gain since I've started, like from September to now. I don't know if it's my diet, like I don't know what it, you know. What's preventing me from seeing more results? I mean, I am 19. I will be 20 in July. I haven't grown in years, like, since, like, you know, naturally since, like, seven, 16. So, yeah. I don't know if... Yeah, you might be just like my brother where he had, like, uh, like a, a growth spurt over, like, so many years. So, it was like... Yeah. For him, it was just... It was crazy because he used to be... He used to be shorter than me. And then, as soon as he hit, like... The beginning of his twenties, he do like another six inches on top of all yeah. that. So, um, I do, th I do think, I do think nutrition is like something that we all really focus on a lot more. Like, what should I eat though? Like, cause I eat a lot of tuna, milk, eggs. Like, I just, I don't know what type of foods are good. You know what I mean? For growth. Yeah. Yeah, Are you, have you started? Did you watch that video about the the My Fitness Pal on your iPhone? I know I keep going over this like loads and loads. Yeah, yeah. Um, have you started using that? Um, yeah, I'll definitely download it, and then you know. But I just sometimes I get afraid of eating like a burger or you know a taco <laughs> or something. But you'd be surprised. If it's bad. Surprised. No, you shouldn't. You shouldn't worry about that because you'd be surprised that even though a burger you know, in retrospect, is, is, is kind of like junk food. Um, if you pick the right yeah. burger, you know, it, might, it might be high in protein. You know, you never know. It depends where you go to for the burger. Yeah. Because um, there's so much, like, there's, you know, different websites say different things. Like, some say, oh, you got to eat a lot. But then other websites say, oh, you can't eat a lot because then you'll get carbs, and carbs are bad for growth. And it's like, what the hell am I supposed to believe? You know what I mean? It gets yeah. kind of confusing. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's always it's, it's trial and error with with high as, as much as it is with weight loss, you know. And I think to be yeah. fair, uh, to be fair to everybody here, I'm going to say right off the bat that growing taller is a lot harder than losing weight. You've got to have a oh, lot. Got to definitely. Have a lot. And you know, it's, it's just you've got to be in for the long term. But I think oh. um, you definitely got to get. Uh, you got to make sure you have enough calories. You know, not not so much that you you you're making yourself sick as such, but I just, I just, I'm just trying to go off what, I, what, what helped me and my brother Leo is just that we were, we were always like eating a lot of food, you know, whether, it, whether it be good or not, you know, when we were younger. Um, 
even if it was is drunk, that, you know. Is that the key though? Like just eating a lot, you know, don't no, worry too much no, about no, cutting. I mean, no, I mean, I mean, I suppose in a way we, we might have been lucky because we were always attracted to certain foods. So we always loved milk. You know, milk was like, we loved it. You know, we love milk. Yeah, same with me, but, you know. Yeah. I drink a lot of milk, but you know, I don't, you know what I mean? I, <laughs> yeah. I haven't like grown well, that taller, you know? No, no, but it's like I say, sometimes it's, it's getting the combination right. You know, it's like the combination code. So you've got to get everything right. It's not just like if you, if you just got like loads of people and just said, right, all of you just drink milk and you'll grow. I don't think necessarily that that would happen. I think it's got to be a, a combination of factors. But yeah, um, we we were very uh, into protein as well and carbs. To be fair, it was it was quite. I think our diets have were pretty balanced. I know that people go crazy about oh you having too many carbs and stuff, but you know. So it's okay to eat like a burger here and there. You know what I mean, right? Like yeah, yeah totally, totally. In fact, what what yeah. are, what you should try to do, what you should try to do, right? I mean, mine's going to be a little bit off, but basically, when you do get this app, right? Um, it actually tells you this is this is what I really want people to focus on, um, especially growing tall because it's so essential for weight loss. So yeah. basically, when you've put in all your foods for the day and everything, it gives you a pie chart, right? So you've yeah. got you've got your your fats, you've got your carbs, and you've got your proteins. And yeah, what you really need, I'd say, for for growing taller, especially. I mean, I haven't put my daily uh, everything in there, but you kind of want those three to be at least like balanced so it's like 33 percent of each you know that's kind of like yeah. um sort of pinnacle i would say uh, of what people who have grown it's generally been sort of 33 33 33 so you know if you're getting you know it's just like a so a third of your diet should be protein a third of your diet should be fat and a third should be carbs but the thing is you never know judging just from your eye what you know how many carbs is is in a burger, or how many fats exactly? You would not know, and you know unless you you had the nutrient. I mean, the thing is, this this app is so great because like we, I used to write things down, and it's like I used to write down how many carbs were in things, how many fats, and it was such a bore. Say, let's say you like with that app, you go to a restaurant and you eat a burger. Um, how does that app know what's in that particular burger? Yeah, well, that's that's the only. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's the only. Yeah. Side is, I mean, <laughs> A lot more restaurants are, are sort, of, uh, sort of tapping into this now, and that what they'll do is, is they'll 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 give their menus and they'll put barcodes on the menus, right? I've seen barcodes, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I've seen that too. Yeah, uh, I have a question uh, too. Like, I I think you're around the thirty mark. Is it my am I right? <laughs> yes, next month. Oh, <laughs> yeah, same with me. I'm gonna be twenty this July. It's hard to believe, but uh. I'm thinking, like, you haven't done this grow tall thing in a long time, like yourself. Yeah. Um, do you think that, let's say you wanted to get, you, you know, taller, could you still do it at your age right now? Like, if, if you wanted to. I do think I could. I do think I could. However, however, I don't think, um, because I've always, I've always said this religiously, always said that 30, for many, many people, is kind of a, a cut-off age for, for yeah. that that real um, growth spurt kind of growth. I do believe you can still gain height after 30. I do. But I think it's going to be primarily a lot to do with like stretching, a lot to do with like just your general posture. Whereas I think yeah. doing that stuff in your twenties and you sort of telling your body while it's, while it's primed, while it's primed, ready to grow, then yeah gonna get a growth spurt you know and that that's the ultimate goal for everyone usually. even if even if like the growth plates are closed i know there's a lot of stuff on growth plates and stuff like that yeah and it's kind of confusing because it's like you know what's there to believe you know can you still grow after they're closed even if you're 20 you know what i mean that's the thing yeah i mean I, I've, I've tried to try and find people who would who would do the program do a growth solar program and have the the growth plate test done as well but because yeah. um, i think it's uh, i think it's like an x-ray i think it's like an x-ray but there's also yeah. another one which can be painful um i don't know how they do it but i know that when i asked someone before they said oh no i'm, I'm not going to do that because it's it's quite a painful thing to do so it's quite hard to find someone who 
A wants to grow taller and B is also willing to have the growth plates checked before they do the program. So it's yeah. kind of hard to... I'm just hoping that if they are closed, that it's still possible. You know what I mean? Have you had, your, have you had your growth plates checked? No, but I haven't grown in years, so I'm assuming they're closed. You know? But you I've don't, only grown... So you don't know for sure? Don't know for sure, but let's just say I was 25. I mean, by that age, most of the time they're closed. I could still probably gain height, right? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, just look, Even, at, just look at skin tight flash, you know, like. I know. I would love to get, like, talk to him, like, chat to chat, like, kind of like me and you were doing now, but he's really on the down low. I don't understand, you know, like, he doesn't, you know what I mean? He'll, like, send emails and stuff, but he won't. I, yeah, he, he, he'll never, like, video chat, you know. Yeah. I don't know why. Don't Hopefully know. he changes his mind. Yeah, no, but it'd be great. He's very inspirational, and he he's like very uh, very thorough with his knowledge. Like exactly, I, like I try, he knows try, a lot. Yeah, I I um me personally, I try and look at the bigger picture of, of of everything together, and I'll try and say, well, this this works, this works. What um what skin does is he'll 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 delve to the root of each individual thing. And he'll really yeah. like get to the bottom of what it is that's that's helping people to grow. And then he'll he'll do that. Then he'll add. It's really impressive, really, what he does. Um, in fact, for me, sometimes it's a bit overwhelming how how deep he goes into detail. Um, yeah, you know, it's it's quite um, it's quite impressive to be fair. But yeah, uh, my friend Tyler, uh, he's. I just want to, on his behalf, like ask him the question, ask you the questions he wanted to ask himself. Um, he said something about sleeping on the floor that like he's tried that. He said something else about hardening the cartilage. Like let's say once you gain height through let's say it's cartilage, do you think it's possible to harden that cartilage? Basically, yeah. Those are his questions. I just want to ask on his behalf. Where where is Tyler, by the way? He should have been here. Uh, I think he's at I think he's at work. I'm not sure if he's in this chat. He told uh, me something he had to work. Yeah. yeah. Tyler Thomas, he has a channel too. Um, yeah, I've got my, my channel is the vertical Portuguese one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, so, yeah. It, was, it was definitely it's, yeah, definitely nice talking to you. No, no, it's fine. You. It's fine. I'll, I'll try and answer those two questions as well while while you're online. Um, yeah, so uh, he did. It's funny because I spoke to him briefly on the Facebook chat. You know, when we were all speaking on the Facebook and going into that, I eventually managed to get into that other group that you guys were in the new group. I don't yeah. know, I remember what I pressed. I think I agreed to press something, but anyway, I, I got in it. But he sent me the, the article that he was looking at that he said that he'd, he'd gained half an inch off by doing something for three days. I think it was to do with the sleeping on the floor. Yeah. Um, no, it, I tell you what, it'll be, it will be interesting to see if he persists and carries on with that, how much height he actually gains. I'm just, it's, it's hard because it must be uncomfortable. It must be uncomfortable. Yeah. Really I kind of compare that to inversion table somewhat because, you know, you're in that position and you, it allows your body to stretch, you know, and you do gain height. But a lot of people say it's temporary. Um, I just, you know, hopefully I'm thinking as you keep doing it, maybe that formation of new cartilage in bone or definitely even if it's cartilage, eventually will turn to bone and harden and it'll be permanent height. That's yeah. what I always think of it as. Yeah, yeah. You know. Definitely. Well that well that yeah. was that yeah. was the whole idea with the with the with the spine stretch. I mean, going back to the very first Grotola programs, you know, stuff like Grotola for idiots and stuff like that. A lot of the basis for their program was stretch the spine out, you know, get your posture correct. I think there's there's thirty five um, vertebrae in the back and the cartilage in between obviously each time that you stretch it um, the cartilage it's allowing the cartilage to thicken doesn't necessarily mean it's going to thicken straight away but it's allowing it to and allowing it to yeah allowing it to and each time you um, compress the spine again um, it shouldn't necessarily go back to what it was providing providing the cartilage is thickening so I mean obviously if it doesn't um, if it doesn't thicken then you might not necessarily get the gains, but um, you know, over time it should. It should. It should thicken, yeah. Yeah. Um, how about when you're sick though? Like, let's say you have a cold, or you you know you have food poison, and you can't really do the program for let's say a week. Is that like, 
you're not going to lose anything, right? If you have to yeah, take that that's, off. that's 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 always hard. I mean, I I recently got ill. When was it? Uh, it was like for three days, and I was like really concerned about my weight loss and stuff. It's just one of the things that you have to deal with. But no, you're not going to go back to square one. That's yeah, just... that's I'm always afraid of that too. You know, <laughs> no, or not... if I go on vacation to like Florida or something, you know, or. You know, I, I was always, I'm always afraid of, you know, when I get back, it's going to be back to step one. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But, uh, yeah. I think, I think, the yeah. trouble, I think with, with you, John, uh, there's a lot of cases like you, low, so many people uh, are like, I mean, what are you, what are you rocking at the moment? You're like five, nine, five, ten. Probably. No, I'm actually at uh, five, eight and a quarter in the morning five, eight, around eight. there. And then five, seven and a half at night, I yeah. would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But there's a lot of people in your boat, and I think the nicest thing that happens is when you, you're like where you are. You kind of you feel like you're going nowhere. Nothing's happening. You're putting all the work in. Nothing's happening, and then the exactly. growth, and then the growth spurt comes. It's like it's it's the greatest thing, man. It's the greatest thing. You know. It's, I know. I just can't wait. You know. Hopefully, it's not too late for me. Yeah. 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 You know. It's. Yeah. It's one of them. It's the thing is, if if, you, if people never try, if no one ever tried to grow tall and everyone just left it to just whatever happened, you'd have no influence on it. You'd have no control whatsoever. So it's kind of nice that you're taking back a little bit of control and saying, right, exactly. I would like to grow taller. I would like to. So how can I channel all that energy into growing taller? Whereas, yeah, you know, you will get the cases of people who. Are just lucky. They're very lucky with what they eat. They're very lucky at home because the parents might buy high protein foods. They might buy really good quality milk, and they're just really yeah. lucky. You know, that, you know they no, I, I definitely like my parents. Definitely buy like good food and stuff. You know, just that. Um, you know, sometimes you know I'll be running at night. You know, like uh, say nine o'clock, ten o'clock at night, I'll be out for a run to try to create micro fractures, and I'll, I'll be thinking, you know, hopefully this is going somewhere. You know, that's that's every night, you know. Yeah. Hopefully, you know, I, I think, you know, hopefully I'm creating enough micro fractures. Then when I, you know, I'll get home right away, stretch them out on my inversion table or ankle weights. I'll think, you know, hopefully this is working, you know. Yeah. But it's so, but I, you know, it's so hard, man. When I mean, you are in it's, – it's a very difficult position to be in because, like you say, you haven't had the growth spurt for years – and, and there's, there's probably a lot of people in this room right now that are in the same situation. You haven't had it for years. Oh yeah. How, how do you how do you wake up your body and say, listen, you know, I want to grow smaller now. You know, it's like <laughs> it's so it's hard, and, and because we can't, is. We can't put everybody yeah. in a microscope, we can't see what the cell on a cellular level what the body is doing. It's impossible. It's like when exactly when people get cancer, you know, how can you predict that happening beforehand? Generally, you can't. You know, it's, it's no. But then the signs of it, you see the signs. So, like, not to delve into cancer or anything, but you know, someone who's perhaps smoked or been heavily involved in alcohol earlier on in life, um, you know, one of them things. Whereas with growing taller, it's like, well, you know, eventually when you grow, you'll be able to look back and say, well, the reason why I grew was because I placed so much emphasis on um, stretching, I placed emphasis on my diet, I placed emphasis on. Um, like what you're doing, you know, the micro fracture technique, it's like yep. to be able to see in the future, you know, everything will pay off. But, exactly. Know, it's just... I always have like in my, in the back burner as like a last option is uh, limb lengthening surgery. You know, that's like my last option because, you know, I want to grow taller one way or another, but I rather put in the work and get, you know, even if it takes, you know, a little longer then, you know, get into surgery right away. Because, I mean, I don't have the money right now anyway. But that will always be my last option. Yeah, like, yeah. It's good to know. You know what I mean? You have, to, you have to view the perspective on things as well. Like, I, I've, I've recently done this. Like, I don't know why. Like, in our society, there's so much emphasis on, like, the guy who's, like, 6'3", who's jacked, who's got loads of muscle, you know, um, big half, you know, it's like, it's like, yeah. this, this is like the, per, you know, this is what society, exactly the perfect guy. Yeah. yeah this is what society, and not just guys, girls as well, you know, girls, you know, they, they, they say that girls should be like five foot seven, five foot eight. They need to be like, yeah. eyes eight. you know, there's so much emphasis on what we should be like. And then there is, I know it's sometimes you have to take a step back and think, well, hold on a minute. There's people out there who haven't even got limbs, who haven't even got legs and, 
haven't even got arms and like it's all exactly all yeah but it's kind of it's kind of like the same thing with like money too like middle class they always want to move up and be rich right yeah. but they, then you know they you know even though there's people that are on the street starving you know so it's kind of it's kind of like that thing like you always yeah. want to progress yeah no matter where you are you yeah, always want to exactly. progress exactly it's human nature it's human nature and be I think a better and it's not necessarily a bad thing like you always want to be a better version of yourself exactly exactly yeah, yeah. And I, yeah. I, I do think that when like i think i did a video a while back about um i think i was mentioning like why did i stop making good all the videos and it was literally because um that wasn't my that wasn't my prime focus um i mean now i'm kind of in a place where i'm starting to get happy with my body and i feel like i want to help other people like like this like this webinar for example um, yes. you know because I, I obviously i've got knowledge and stuff in my mind that i can't keep putting on every video i'd rather people just ask me directly and then everyone else can can take a look at that video and stuff but yeah you know it's it's weird human nature is strange you're never quite satisfied uh it's weird exactly uh, just that you know i um you know i do the routines you know it's it's always on my mind you know i feel sometimes man this is i tell you know even the people in the group you know this stuff's taking over my life you know <laughs> i tell them that all that all the time you know cause it's yeah. it's literally on my mind 24 7 yeah. And, um, you know, I tell him, you know, I don't know if I, you know, if I can keep going on because it's always, it's, it's always on my mind, you know, and it kind of, yeah. you'd say like, like I just got my driver's license, yeah. you know what I mean? And I'm 19 years old. So it's, you know, because let's say if I wasn't thinking about the grow taller thing, I would be able to like progress to other things, but I just want to get this out of the way first. That's why I kind of yeah. want to rush things. Yeah, you're right, that but... way I just get there and that's it, you know, move on with my life, you know? Yeah, because that's well, the thing. I mean, I've, I've had people say to me, oh, well, you know, if, if I never started this, I could have done so much more. I could have just, I could have hung, hung around with my friends more and I could have done this. Yeah, and exactly. Like go to clubs and stuff. I did say to people, and it, this this does run true, even if, let's say you, you know, you've, you've passed your driving test, you've got a great car, even if, yeah. you, even if you were going out with your friends and having a good time, in the back of your mind, I guarantee you'll still be thinking about going to the Guaranteed. Exactly. Guaranteed. Exactly. That's how it is now. You know, yeah, you're doing the right thing because you're doing something that you are actively interested in. You're actively you're, passionate about. Yeah. yeah and even even though it seems like a ball ache, like you know, going to the gym every morning at like you know six forty-five to some people is like I was like hell, but to me, I I enjoy it for some reason. I don't know why. I enjoy it because I feel like I'm I'm progressing. You know, and that's progressing. Yeah. Yes. You know, it's a nice yeah, like my, my, my dad's a bodybuilder, you know, he wakes up at like four in the morning, starts lifting weights, you know, <laughs> that's his thing. He's done it for 30 years. That's his thing with me. I used to lift weights in high school. Sometimes I think because my dad got me into lifting young, you know, 14 years old. Sometimes I think, you know, did that stunt my growth? Did me squatting 400 pounds stunt my growth? Did me bench pressing 300 stunt my growth? Like I think of that stuff. Yeah. It drives me nuts. And I kind of like regret lifting those weights. But I just hope that it didn't kind of like harden the bone to where I can't like create micro fractures, yeah, or you yeah. know build off of that. You know what I mean? I always think that but like, it should know. Um, a lot of bodybuilders, yeah. you know, the pros like um, typically like Arnold Schwarzenegger. He started really young. Like he in his autobiography he says that he was lifting weights at like 13, 14 years old. So I always yeah. and he's like in his prime. He was like six two, six two and a half. Yeah, he was tall. Yeah, especially for a European, like he was, he was a tall guy. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely, man, definitely. Yeah. Cool. cool. You look like you've got the total eclipse or something going on behind you. I know it's only a light bulb. <laughs> oh, it's yeah, it's um, uh, it's a uh, light. Yeah, it's at my grandmother's house. It's <laughs> Easter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, it was nice definitely talking to you. You know, I actually thought, man, maybe he doesn't want to talk to me. Yeah, <laughs> he books this and blocked. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, it was, it was funny. No. People who I really wanted to speak to you because obviously, like, we've been chatting on Facebook and stuff for ages. And like I said, I've never even yeah. spoken to you face to face. But I've watched a lot of your yeah. videos as well. You know, so, yeah. yeah. Great, man. It's been great. And I stay, noticed you had. Stay in the room, man, while we, while we answer some more questions. There should be some good content coming through, hopefully. Definitely. Cool. All right, man. All right. Peace, John. I'll, I'll catch up with Peace. you soon. Peace.
All right. Yeah, I noticed your uh, Facebook's deactivated. Are you ever gonna activate it again? Or yeah, like um, like Jake said, I uh, I I'll come back on because he wants uh, he wants to do like uh, just a hangout for for everyone on that group chat. So I'll I'll, I'll come in and do that. And I just all right, man. It causes me so many problems with the girlfriends. So. <laughs> yeah, I see. I see. Yeah, no problem. All right, all right man. Definitely was a pleasure. You well, know. Take care, man. Stay positive. Take care, man. I will. Thanks, man. See you soon, man. All right. See ya. Right. Okay. Okay. So, um, we got. Thank you for that, John. Okay. Right. We've got people with their hands up. So, this, uh, I know we've got chat. I think I'm going to go to Yasmin because she was, she was showing some upset faces uh, earlier on. So, if Yasmin, if you want to, uh, I'll try and get you up now. Okay. I'm going to request you, Yasmin. Let's see what happens. Let's see if you come up. Well, I'll take a sip of this coffee. It has requested. I think it might just take a bit of time with the internet and everything. So, think, Yasmin, did you get the request? Should have asked you something. <laughs> nice mug. <laughs> Someone's wrote in chat. Nice mug. Jurassic Park, good film if you haven't watched it. Uh. Uh. Yasmin, what's going on? I think we're having the same problem that we had with John, whereby I was trying to add people and. Uh. Uh. One. Yasmin, 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 where are you, Yasmin? Yasmin, are you there? I am trying to add you. Yasmin, <laughs> do you have Skype? I do, yes. Did you not want to come up and talk? Is that what it is? Did you not want to talk like, like we just had? Or would you rather me answer the question? Is there anybody else who would like to talk if Yasmin doesn't want to take the stand? <laughs> Sounds like a court case. Yes, uh, I can give you that. Can, are you... So, Yasmin, don't you want to speak on, on here then, I'm guessing? Alex wants to. I'm going to write to you, Yasmin, because I'm not sure if you are seeing my video. Do you want to come up and talk, Yasmin, or not? <laughs> if not, it's fine. We'll go to the next person. That'll be that'll be fine. If not, and. <clears throat> Now, <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> I have requested you, Yasmin. I have requested you. Don't be shy. It's fine.
I'll request you again, Yasmin. If you just accept, then you come up, ask some questions. See what happens. <laughs> Alex is right. I think Lance prefer Yasmin to us. I do prefer Yasmin. I haven't even met Yasmin yet. I haven't met Yasmin. But basically, Yasmin was uh, was upset because I wasn't answering the question. So I'm giving her. It is a girl, right? <laughs> uh, chance to to speak. But if you don't want to speak, Yasmin, that's fine. That's fine. We can we can um, we can speak to Alex. I think Alex has put his hand up. Okay, Yasmin, I'm going to request you one more time. If you don't answer, then we're going to go to Alex. Fortunately, and then we'll we'll do a big Q and A session uh, at the end, hopefully, where you don't have to come up on mic and we can just um, answer the questions from the chat. So Yasmin, I'm guessing you don't want to talk on here. So okay, let's go to Alex. Alex, I'm going to try and add you now. Alex Dao, Alex Dao. Are you getting this request, Alex? Are you getting the request? <laughs> Matt wants to come on again. Matt wants two. Two goes. <laughs> to be fair, if <laughs> if we don't get anyone coming up to um, to talk, then I'm gonna have to. I will have to go to to other people, unfortunately. Uh, uh, We've got somebody. It's Alex. Hi. Welcome. How are you? Hello? Alex, you need to unmute yourself because I think you have muted your own microphone. So if you unmute your microphone, you should be good to go. <clears throat> Alex, where are you, man? Matt says, if Alex can't do it, I'll do it. Matt, to be fair, thanks for the offer. We might have to come back to you, but we have got some other people who would like to... I think I've got four... No, th two other people who would like to speak first. Alex, what is going on? What is going on? I can't see you. I can't hear you. Can you somehow unmute your mic?
Hmm. So Alex is here, but we just can't see or hear Alex, so... Not too sure what's going on. <laughs> My speakers are definitely okay. I can definitely see that. Seems like Alex is having a bit of trouble though. <clears throat> Come on, Alex, you can do it. <laughs> you can do it. Have you found the mute button? Unmute. If you don't fix it, I'm going to have to go to somebody else, unfortunately. I'm going to have to try. Sorry for the hold up, guys. I think Alex is trying to connect, but for some reason, it's not working. It's not working. It's not working. <clears throat> Alex, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to take the next person. It's taking a while. Right, let's see who else we got. Okay. Uh, Mohammed Butter. Let's try you. Mohammed Butter. Let's see. I've just requested you, Mohammed. So if you, if you get this, please, please reply. <clears throat> okay. I'm just going to answer some of these questions that have come through for me and hopefully might be able to help someone. So one of the questions that come through while we were while we we're waiting for Mohammed was, Hi, my name is BK. I'm 37 years old. I'm currently 5'9 and weigh 150. So I'm guessing that's 150 pounds. I live a healthy lifestyle. Will this work for me? I would love to grow three inches if it is at all possible. Oh, the actual full name's underneath. Behane Kaifel. Behane Kaifel, thanks for your question. Yes, 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 you can grow. Like I was talking to John about skin type flash. I don't know if you are subscribed to him, but he is definitely more around your age and he is growing. He is he's very, very in depth. So go check him out. Type in skin type flash on YouTube. And yeah, take a look at what Skin's doing because he's definitely growing tall. And I actually think he's perhaps a little bit older than you as well. I think he's he's I think mid forties now, I think. I think so. Of what people have told me. I don't think he's actually given away his age, but he's definitely over forty. So yeah, be sure to check out Skin Type Flash on, on YouTube. Um but if you have any more specific questions, I'll um, I'll try and answer it because it's quite a quite a broad question. You know, can I grow tall? It's like, <laughs> yes, of course. You know. <laughs> okay, so I'll go to the the next question. Lance, can you recommend some tips on how to get maximum amount of protein for a person who is always outside most of the time? I usually depend on people to cook for me and don't get much protein out of it. That's from a. Orla CT, okay. To be honest, to get maximum protein, I mean, a lot of people who are trying to lose weight, including myself, protein shakes I always find are perfect for that for that to get your protein in. You know, it's so it's so easy to make. You know, you can make it with water, so it's almost just like having a flavored water. You know, it's it's really easy, and quite a lot of the time. As long as you pick the right protein, as long as you, I'd go for like a low calorie protein, so a whey protein. If you, if you want to, I don't know where you're based actually. Your name does ring a bell, I'm sure. I don't know why, I've got a feeling you're in the US, but perhaps something like gold standard whey, um, they're pretty good. So, you know, if you could take that to work with you, then just have a scoop with, with some water every few hours, then I think that would help you with with being able to get in the amount of protein that you need to cover for your, for your body weight. 
Okay, cool. It doesn't look like we are getting Mohammed in for some reason. So, okay. Let's try, let's try Hafid Guraubi. Guraubi. Hafid, I am adding you to this conversation if you want to ask any questions. Um, hopefully you do. And we'll try and get you up in the webinar. Just accept where it says accept. And hopefully you'll be able to come in. In the meantime, let's uh, let's get some more of these questions answered. Right, okay, so someone else has asked, I am 17, I'm going to be 18 in four months. Is it possible to grow seven inches? Yes, absolutely. Great age to grow, to be honest, great age. So, um, Arash, yes, it's definitely possible. It's not going to happen overnight, however, but yes, it is definitely possible. Okay, next question. Uh, are you in Singapore currently? <laughs> Don't mind, meet up for a drink. Unfortunately, no, I'm not in Singapore at the moment. I am back in the UK, so I can't meet up for a drink, but I will hold you to that next time I'm in Singapore. Uh, be sure to leave me your contact details, and we can meet up for a drink. Cool, that's from Lee Yu Chan. So, yeah, that'd be cool. Be cool to meet you, man. Yeah. Next question. Hey Lance, can we ask? Uh, hey Lance, can we ask you questions from here? Yes, you can, Mohammed Butter. I did try to get you on the mic, but if you want to ask a question, there is a little question tab where you can ask the questions, which is what I've been reading out for the past few minutes. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do is I'll just I'll just finish off answering all these questions that I've got here, and then and then I'll try and add somebody into the conversation. So. The next question is, I've been doing a program during two years, but I've been very consistent. But now I want to begin again. I'm really determined. Which program do you recommend me, Lance? The GTPS or what? That's from Alex, who we tried to get earlier. So you've been doing a program for two years. Not 100% sure what program it is. And you want to begin again, and you're really determined. Yeah. Definitely, GTPS, we have seen some great results from the GTPS, and it's just, it's it's so manageable, it's just so easy to get into people's routines. I'm not trying to sell it to you, if you want to go for any other program, feel, feel free, but I do feel like, from an outsider's perspective, if you can say that, that the GTPS is, is a good program to get, yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, if you have any other questions, you know, regarding that then feel free to ask another question okay alex next question hey lance what are examples of grow tall sports like does lifting weights count also the morning stretches that you demonstrate in your video with laura how long should one do them for per how long should one do them for per day <laughs> you sound uh, very very medieval english there um <laughs> yeah so grow tall sports i think I, I know what you're referring to basically when we did the first grow tall dvd grow tall uh, grow six inches tall in 90 days there was sports so for instance basketball i would class as a grow tall sport because you're reaching for the basket uh what else would i sprinting because the amount of growth hormone you're secreting so that's another like grow taller sport. It's basically anything, any kind of sport that would enhance height. Um, as far as lifting weights, there's no issue with lifting weights. Like I was talking to John about lifting weights, and he said that he was perhaps a bit worried that it maybe stunted his growth when when he was younger. Yet there are a lot of examples of people who who have grown even when they've done weights from a young age. So if you wanted to class lifting weights as, as a grow tall sport, then yeah, it's, you know, there's a lot of athletes in weightlifting and that's, that's fine. But other examples, you know, like swimming, skipping, I know skipping isn't particularly a sport, but swimming is. And uh, yeah, cycling, you know, that's, that's another one because it's especially for your legs, you know, you're elongating the legs. So yeah. And, um, well, what's the second part of your question? How long should one do them for per day? 
Uh, <laughs> it just depends, you know. Obviously, you can't be doing. You do want to do going tour sports all day, but I'd say at least an hour a day, at least an hour a day on your chosen chosen sport. So maybe one to two hours, and that's from Hamid Butter. Okay, so next question. Um, this is from uh, oh. John Nino has asked if I can put the video on YouTube. Yes, John, I'll put it on YouTube. Yeah, it automatically does when you do a Google Hangout. And Mohammed Butters asked again, also, when you are fasting, are you still able to grow taller if you are only able to eat in the evening and morning? So basically a period of four hours or so. I am 20 years old and currently 5 foot 10. I've done the workouts before, but want to do it again. That rhymes as well. Yeah, no, do you know what? Do you know what? fasting is something that we have tried and tested before and i mean even though that's quite a short eating window <laughs> that's a really short eating window of just four hours to get all your calories in it's definitely possible and it definitely can help because all the time that you're not eating you're not spiking your insulin level so in effect any growth hormone that you secrete you don't have this conflicting insulin which is basically if you if you let's imagine this is your bloodstream and you've got insulin here and growth hormone here you can't have both of them at the same time going in your blood system they like they, can, they, they cancel each other out so as soon as you spike your insulin you don't get as much or if any growth hormone in the system well in your bloodstream so fasting is good is very good especially you know um as far as growth hormones concerned so really yeah fasting is, is definitely going to benefit you for growing taller I wouldn't say, you know, fasting is ideal all the time. It's good to just, I mean, I don't know if um, if that, if you can't, if that's your choice is what I'm trying to say. If, if fasting is your choice, then I would try and not do it all the time, but it's definitely, definitely can help. Yeah, definitely. It'd be interesting. The best thing to do is to try, if you, if you are fasting, do it for a length of time. So at least like two, three months and then monitor the results. If it's not working for you, you know, try something else. And what else? is there a second part of the question? No. Right. Okay. So, Matt Riddell, Lance, I probably get on the mic soon, but do you recommend jumping, or will the effects, the effect, to affect the gains made by stretching? Do you recommend jumping? Or will it affect the gains made by stretching? Hmm. I don't even know what you mean by jumping. If you, unless you've got a jumping routine that you you use, that you combine with the stretching. I'll speak to you about it when you when you come on again because I think we're going to have you back on. <clears throat> uh, we're getting loads of questions coming through now. <laughs> okay. Um, Alex says, Lance, I feel my connection was bad. I feel so bad my connection was bad. I couldn't connect you. I've got to go now, but can we Skype and come another day? I forgot a few questions. Yes, we can. Sorry about that, Alex. We, we're we trying to accommodate everyone here, so it's quite hard. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Da, 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 da. Okay. <laughs> Mohammed Butter, it'd be it'd be great to get you on the on the um, the video because you've got so many questions. I can just answer them all in one go. Mohammed, I'm going to add you on here, and hopefully I'll be able to speak to you because then we can just answer all your questions in one go. If anybody else does have any questions, um, basically, if I can just screen share with you, there is. A little button here where there's a little question mark and basically I can see all the questions here right so if you ask it if you want to um, I'm gonna try and get Mohammed on the mic so I've got uh, I've got a question to answer from Simon I've got a question but there's three from Mohammed Butter so I'm gonna try and try and answer them right now okay right Mohammed I'm coming for you I'm trying to add you so we can answer these questions all in one go and hopefully somebody else and everyone else can get the benefit of it as well.
Mohammed, are you there? Let's see what's going on in chat. Yasmin says she still hasn't got the picture. some reason it's not working so i'm going to go to i'm going to simon's question simon says <laughs> is ayurvedic career necessary to grow i saw that girl roxy grow two inches in 10 weeks and i heard you say in one of your videos that harry and james used it during 40 weeks or something is it still available we do have some ayurvedic available only with the ultimate package so the ultimate grow taller pyramid secret package we do have some available and yes roxy had some and also harry and james so yeah but it's not essential you don't you don't you don't need it i think i feel like with ayurvedic it's more like a boost you know and it is it's quite hard to come by as well so yeah it's not it's not essential simon at all but um obviously if you want to fast track you know, it's just it's just another thing that you don't need to think about, basically. So, I hope that answers your question. Um, Mohammed, because you're not coming to the mic, I'm just going to try and answer these questions that you put here. So, I am Irish. <laughs> also, don't mean to sound personal here, but did you mention your girlfriend? <laughs> Are you still with her? Not the ones in the video. No, I've, I'm with a girl called Amy now, who does look quite similar to Laura, but don't tell her that. <laughs> also does skipping count as a grow taller sport how long to do a day for a grow taller sport I kind of answered that before and that is Amy Burks right now she is wondering if I finish this webinar probably <laughs> uh, hold on let me just silence this hold on Amy Burks right how long to do per day grow taller sport? Do you need to do a grow taller sport if you lift weights and stretch? Well, no. Like the, I think you're getting the wrong idea a little bit, Mohammed, with the grow taller sport thing. The grow taller sport isn't something that will essentially, you know, that you need to do every day. It's just it's something that you can you can add into. So when we went, when we say grow taller sport, it's like if if it's not particularly a routine, then perhaps you know you're doing it because you enjoy it you know it's a good sport for you know like if you enjoy swimming that's that's good you know it's 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 something like an extracurricular activity that you can you can add that will help you but if you're doing a routine you know then then really what you need to be doing is putting these grow taller sports into your routine if you want to keep them as a routine or whether you want to just have them as a as a leisure activity so there's a bit of a difference really you know so you know i know that you it, I'm assuming that you lift a lot of weights. So if that's already your regime, then perhaps maybe, I don't know, maybe do your grow taller sports as more of a, a leisurely thing, you know, because if you're stretching as well and you're doing weights and you're doing a grow taller sport, it's a, it's a hell of a lot to do, especially if you're, you know, if you're just starting out. So don't try and do too much at once is basically what I'm trying to say. So next question uh da, 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 da. Mohammed Butter is ants is <laughs> he's asking all kinds of questions but I'll try and I'll get through them because I'm assuming that you can't get to the mic. I got your manual one and two also the four part video. Also how long do I need to sleep for like a minimum to grow tall is seven hours a good amount. Seven hours should be fine. I would I'd try and say eight to ten if you can. So that's optimal, eight to ten hours. If you can get any more than that, I don't know. Actually, in some recent studies, it's found that growing taller, oh, sorry, uh, sleeping for longer makes people more tired, which you can do. I generally think you'll know. Just listen to your body. If your body says that you need more sleep, then have more sleep. If you, you know, if um, if you don't need that much sleep, then don't worry about it. You know, just just listen listen to your body in that terms. But I'd say. As an average, eight, seven to eight hours um, is is fine. But um, 
Yeah. Cool. Next question. Uh, Mohammed Butter again. <laughs> also, I meant how long you should spend on the morning stretches, like you've mentioned, 12 minutes per day in the videos. Oh, right, okay. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you're 12 minutes a day, oh, 12 minutes a day, yeah, because that's that's that was a number that we had on the grow tour, grow six inches taller in 90 days. So, yeah, yeah, it's it's one of them, like. We've come quite a long way since that DVD. It's still a good DVD. It's still relevant right now. But with the Good Tall Premier Secret, we've got the stretches and the the more in bite sized chunks. So you gradually build things up. Hey, who's this Joker? How did you get in the conversation? I'm trying to answer these questions, but feel free. I don't know how you did that, but. I was checking my Google Hangout and it said ongoing call. So I was like, All right, feel free. Feel free to talk, man. I know you've been dying to talk. Now, now that I'm here, um, from from the past years, I know that my size and jeans have gotten, have grown too. Uh, I want to know something. What's your inseam? I know it's a little odd to say, but it's like, uh, I wear I wear a 34 length. What, what do you wear, by the way? Like I wear an inseam, an inseam, an inseam. To be fair, because I've lost weight, it's changed a bit now. So like, um, Two months ago, I think my my waist was like sort of 38, 40 inch waist and perhaps 32 leg, but the inseam I think was 31, I think. Inseam is 30, so you got like a long torso, I, I, I assume. Yeah, it might be different in America though. Are you on about, are you on about like jeans, like pants? Yeah, because... Um... Yeah. Yeah, because I weigh about two over two pounds now. Yeah. Last... So. Okay. Cool. That's yeah, it. I think it's about thirty, thirty-one. I think. But the weird thing is, the inseam is 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 on the inside, and then the outseam. I'm sure is thirty-two for me. I'm sure is thirty-two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, like I just ordered my statometer. Um about two days ago so it, the arrival is going to be around march 30th to april 4th in between them so hopefully i get to see and then start my whole because i'm just one centimeter away from six foot three i want to be that's my goal it's always been my goal to be that you know how come how come you want to be six foot three if you don't mind me asking uh, it's it's a good question it's a good question when i was 17 you know because i i got that question a lot where people say that um they're like oh you're already six foot why would you want to like get any because here in new york you know, i don't know how it is in, in other places but six foot isn't really at that time wasn't really tall you know i mean i know that sounds kind of like i've always had the ideal of like towering you know what i mean not really yeah. you know yeah people who were like five three five four be right up your shoulder and that kind of was like a little uncomfortable you know i didn't really like stuff like that you know and uh it's, i don't want to sound selfish but i put in all this hard work man you know, I went crazy with this. I had a lot of fluctuations like anybody else. You know, I had people who believed me, people who didn't. But at the end of the day, I know the truth. You know, I've, I've done everything that I, I could do. And I followed your video. That video I posted in the group, the road toll of four to eight weeks. Um, it's somewhere around YouTube. I don't think you still have it in your channel, but I know it's somewhere around YouTube. Is it where, is it where I'm skipping outside? And I'm doing... yeah, 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 you're staying. Yeah, there. yeah. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. That's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know what that that video actually got banned? I, I don't know if someone reported the video, but it actually got banned. So someone luckily made a copy of it because it was such a popular video at the time. And um, yeah, I, I was really annoyed about that because like it was helping loads of people, and yet YouTube banned it. And I was like, what? <laughs> but hey, <laughs> right, right. Um, no, man. But you see. I, I only stuck with that. You know, I stuck with sleeping on time. I used to sleep because here in New York, um, I used to sleep around in the beginning. It was because I had school. I had school. Uh, I was a senior in high school um, and I was just graduating. I went to sleep around 10 o'clock and I would wake up 8 o'clock a.m. in the morning. So it'd be 10 p.m., 9.30 p.m. to 8 a.m., 7.30 a.m. in the morning. Uh, I would never do any morning stretches the reason why I never did any morning stretches is because I feel that doing that had a bigger chance of you losing centimeters quick. You know, I, I felt that way. Like 
I, I tried and I felt like like I just lost some height from doing the stretches early in the morning. So I just went on with my day. Yeah, that's, After, that's interesting. So you listen to your body, basically. I listen to my body, exactly. And um, it, it, it gets funny when I try to like talk to my father about this. Like, uh, uh, This is one thing I do want to mention is that when I was – I mentioned to you about Tyler Thomas laying down on the floor with this method. Now I did try something like that. I, I remember I had nothing going on for myself. I didn't have any college or a job going on. Now I do. But at the time I was on the floor for a week. And let me tell you, Lance, man, from like early in the morning to nighttime, I would just be on the floor and people made jokes. They would say like, Hey man, uh-huh. how do you Jesse! take ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay. he goes, he goes, hey, stop, stop, stop. Listen, listen to me, stop. He goes, he goes, he's like, hey, man, how do you take a shit, you know? Because, like, you're laying on the floor. And like, do you realize <laughs> I'm going to take a poopy? In my, I have to say poopy because I got a little. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so please understand, you know. And um, what I did was that, like, when it was time to eat, I would run, eat quick, sit with the straightest posture as possible, like, the straightest posture and just, like, you know, go back and yeah. lay on the floor, you know? And, yeah. Uh, yeah. I felt like every day, like my posture and like I was getting longer and longer. I even saw it in the mirror. Right. I was happy. I thought that, you know, oh my God, you know, wow, I didn't know that I grew this quick. But here's the problem. When I stopped, everything went downhill. And it was the worst time of my life, Lance. I'm telling you, I went crazy. I was sweating. My neck got super long. I don't know why. At that time, it was like really, really long. And, um, it made me feel that that's one thing I don't like uh, about my proportions at the time is having a long neck. It's very comfortable. You know, I used to have that. Now I don't, but at that time I did. And it was very uncomfortable because it looks weird. You know, you're just hanging off and it's like, <laughs> but where I'm going with this, cause it sounds a little confusing is that no, no, it's fine, it's fine. for the people hearing this. Don't try that. Okay. Uh, I don't know as far as sleeping on the floor that might, you might gain something there permanent, but I have not tried that. I never slept on the floor. I just laid on the floor day and night, morning to night, on my phone all day listening to music. And then I would get on my bed when it's nighttime and I'd wake up like the longest piece of shit. Like, I just, <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know. I but, suppose there was, there was never any uh, compression on your spine during that time. No. So, that, um, when I was talking to John earlier about cartilage thickening, uh, in between all your bones and everything, your body would have been so like, um, like decompressed and relaxed that it would be like encouraged to grow, right? You know. Yeah. So that kind of that kind of does make sense. So how how long is is it because is that why Tyler's gone and done this because of what what happened to you before? Is that why he's been looking into it? No, I I think he's looking into it because I I sent the link that I could send you. Uh, I have the link and, and it's, it's coming from a professional doctor who has written an article and he was, uh, he had a couple of patients who tried this treatment that they slept on the floor for over 30 days, I think 30 yeah. days a month. And these people have increased like two inches, mm-hmm. you know, wow. three to four inches. But it says in it states in the article that it's not permanent. The only way that it can be permanent is if you do the correct uh, exercises, such as stretching a healthy diet, you know, the simple, the basic stuff. Now, as far as I'm concerned, I'm terrified to try that because what you don't know and what the people don't know, uh, I'm a very open person, so I don't care, you know, is that I, ever since after doing that, uh, my body has kind of got a little tense. Like if you're going to lay on the floor all day, you're going to get numb. Your whole body's going to be numb. There's no way you're not going to feel an effect from laying on the floor. That's not possible. My tailbone was in pain, serious pain. That's why I never can bend. I was always like straight, like as an arrow. You know? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. They give it like a piece of wood trying to bend. It's not gonna happen, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm playing Super Smash Bros. with the Wii U and my little cousin, but um, <laughs> you know, hey man, you know, and and you know, Rob Paul. Uh, one thing I learned from Rob Paul is that. I think Rob Paul is not a bad guy. I think what what I've learned from him, uh, because I learned from both of you guys. Both of you taught me something, a very valuable lesson to this height thing. And uh, I appreciate everything you've done for this whole Grow Taller community, you know. Um, We all appreciate what you've done. I still don't don't understand why 
some people like like to they were hating on yeah. Harry, I think, because he wasn't showing his height. Yeah, you know, uh, yeah, yeah. I had to take the videos down. I don't know. I don't know what it was. I just feel like uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think a lot a lot of the people who subscribe to me, I'm guessing, are subscribed because. Maybe they have an affiliation with me. Maybe they just like when I make videos. You know, it's it's. It, I, I can understand a little bit. It's like, why would I subscribe to somebody, you know, that I enjoy watching or can relate to when they're putting somebody else at the forefront of the videos? You know, it doesn't make sense. So I kind of just, I kind of understand why people were hating it a little bit. So yeah, yeah. Like, listen, I'm not a, I'm not a two faced person. You know, I can tell you right now that I've had doubts myself. Um, it's not that I didn't believe that what you guys did, you know, it's just, uh, you, I think what people have to understand and even myself is that everyone's different. You know, everybody has, not everybody's going to grow the same. You know, some people have it better. Some people might do something for a month and gain two inches if they can. And wow. You know, some people have natural, you know, people in my group think that with me, I was natural. Because I never really did anything. I never really used an inversion table, ankle weights at the time. All I did was sleep, eat healthy. I stayed away from soda. That was a big one. Now I drink all the soda in the world because <laughs> I don't, <laughs> you know, I just chug it, you know, like, uh, which is bad because I don't know how, I don't know what it's called. There's something that if you drink a lot of soda, uh, you get this this cavity. There you go. Uh, <laughs> <that's> <laughs> But, um, um, it starts with an O. Do you, do you think you can help me out? I think it's Oster. I don't. I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's a big word. A big word. Uh, Osterphilosis or something like that. Um, yeah, and when I heard about that, because let me tell you something. Lately, if I don't get sleep, let's say for three to four days, I feel weak when I stand, especially in my leg area. I feel very weak. It's like. Uh, I've been taking vitamin D and calcium supplements. And uh, every time I see my girlfriend, this was in the beginning, um, every time like when we're cuddling and stuff, she would go, ouch, you know, I'd be like, what happened? She's like, your bones are hard. And then in my head, I'm just like, ah, it's working. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. You know? Can we break your teeth? Oh, really? <laughs> okay, let's play, let's play. So, you know, you know, like Lance, you seem like a very chill person, you know, and uh, I'm not, yeah, I want to try to get like, uh, we're trying Junior. to get skin type flash into our group. Junior. You know, that'd be great. That'd be great. I don't know. I don't know why he, he doesn't like doing videos so much. Maybe he's quite, he might be quite a private person or maybe it's the fact that he puts his videos out there for like other people to look in on him. But when he's in like a situation like we're in now where, you know, I'm bouncing ideas off you. You're bouncing ideas off me. Maybe it just, maybe it's just too much for him. Because I can understand uh, people like that. You know, people just can't. It's like if if I, if I was skin type flash now, and you're sort of suggesting like all these new ideas, you might just think, oh no, there's just too much information. I can't digest it while you're talking to me. I need to go and I need to write it all down. He seems like a guy that likes to write things down, and and he's very articulated in the way that he. He just like researches things. I was just I was talking to John about it. He's just so in depth with everything. So I can imagine him getting really overwhelmed in this kind of situation. And that's why that's why John said he replies with emails because it's like if you if you write something in an email, you can, that's stored on a file that you can always refer to. Whereas if I'm talking to you now, I know this is recorded, but he would have to he would have to like I don't know. I just feel like he would. He'd be very cautious about the response that he would give you because he would have that much to say and think about before he could give a response. Whereas if you're talking to me, I'm quite open, like about everything. You know, I can, I can, I can think about things as I'm doing it. You know, so I just think he's that type of guy, basically. Yeah, I'm just saying. I, I think that even you're con considering yourself and everyone here in this this Grotola community. I think that uh, what's interesting is that he. I think he's older than everybody here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, true, true. True. You know, he's like the grandfather of this. <laughs> like, like if, you know, you know what I mean. It's like, um, but I, 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 uh, I respect what he's doing. You know, I just, I just feel that if what he's doing is really working, I think that's gonna really motivate everybody and keep everybody positive because he definitely, definitely. mid forties, mid thirties. 
if, around. Basically, if he can do it, anyone can do it. If he Anybody? can do it, anyone can do it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which is great. And, and, and I think sometimes everyone needs, everyone needs that success story of like, you know, um, you see it in 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 health, like health and fitness, you know, like the old person who can who can run a marathon, or you know, the ninety year old that can that can lift, that can bench, you know, whatever amount on the you know on the bench or whatever. It's you need to hear that sometimes. You need to hear that because it makes you it put thing it puts things into perspective about yourself because you think, well, wow, like they're like so old and they can do it. Why can't I do it? You know. Right. Right. <laughs> I think I think um, I'm gonna have to wrap this up now because basically Amy's come home and like I've I've run 37 minutes over what I said and she's like dying for some food. <laughs> so yeah, you won't say anything. That <laughs> <laughs> gets you in trouble, man. Don't worry. Uh, no, it's fine. I think I'm gonna make this a regular thing though, so that I'm just trying to. Um, I mean, obviously this today was just a test. I, I kind of expected to run over over schedule a little bit because I knew that we were just trying to get a feel for it. Um, I think the thing that's a shame is I think, well, from my screen, I can see that people gradually throughout the webinar have dropped out and obviously that's not good. I'm trying to keep as many people in as possible so we can listen to everybody. Um, but as well, as well, the timing, the timing is essential. Like Tyler had to work today. So that it's a shame that he couldn't come on either, which is, which is not good. So I'm yeah. gonna try and I'm gonna try and um, get another. T it's so hard, you know, because obviously, like, I mean, what time is it in New York? You must be five hours behind, right? It's uh, it's about three thirty eight p.m. right now. Three thirty eight, yeah. So we're on. It's eight thirty eight p.m. now. So yeah, we're you're like five hours behind. Yeah, so it's nighttime where you live right now. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. Hold on, three three thirty eight, three four five. Six, seven, yeah, five hours behind. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Is this gonna be on YouTube? Uh, yeah, maybe. Why is that a problem? Uh, this is gonna be very interesting to watch. This <laughs> You'll be watching. Do the monkey dance. Do the monkey dance. If this kid, if this kid grows up to be seven feet tall, I'm, I'm telling you. <laughs> All right. uh, he's seven, but he has like a long proportion, but. Listen, it's it was been nice talking to you. All right. Yeah, you too, man. You too. You all too. Right, take care. Yes, take care, and um, and that's all we've got time for. I'm afraid for everybody. That's all we've got time for. Uh, Amy is dying to get some food. I'm sure everyone will will understand. <laughs> um, and also, I didn't even ask Matt. Actually, I didn't even ask him how he actually managed to get. Um, back into the webinar without me requesting him so that'll be something for next time that we can learn about but yes thanks for attending everybody thanks for everyone who stayed in thank you for everybody who spoke thanks to matt thanks to john uh, unfortunately we didn't get everybody on the mic which was a shame and um i'm gonna i'm gonna try and stop the broadcast but i'll try and uh i'll try and just give a few answers to yasmin who was who was asking me a few questions while i'm making some tea so yeah cool that's it guys have a great easter weekend and hopefully we'll do this again next week uh stay tuned i'll send you all an email and, and keep you all updated so and be sure to watch the video on youtube should be funny <laughs> an hour and a half of all this so all right take care everybody goodbye